Hello everyone, Leaf Kicker here with another video made possible by my Patreon supporters. In this video we're going to update everyone with what's been going on in the studio. Before we get to that, let's give away some boxes. Wilson Wong, you are one of the latest winners. You are from the May-June group. You can select any one of these items and I'll craft you up one. Brandon Crane, you are the winner from July. Let me know which one of these items I can make up for you. And Joel Stewart, you're our latest winner from August. And guys, we finally made our first goal of $250 a month. So I anticipate doing one of these videos every month uh, from here on out. So thank you all very much. If you're a Patreon member and would like to order one of these items, this is uh, the current list of items I could make. We can do a squirrel. We can get that with just the squirrel or the acorn or, or both. And that's 400 This group of items... Hedron, Ratchet Bomb, Chaos Orb, Sliver, or Dragon Skull, I can make for $275. And down here we have a Mana Vault, Cthulhu, and Skull, and Top, I can make one of these items for $200. And if you're looking for a settling board, I can make that for you as well. For now, I'm only taking orders from Patreon members until I get my back order queue caught up. The queue's been pushing out close to three months, and I'd really like to, to get that down to ship right away if possible. I've been chasing a back order queue for well over five years and I just want to try making the item first, put, posting that online, and then selling it that way rather than taking an order and keep adding weeks and weeks and weeks on, uh, on the back order queue. So for now we're only going to be taking orders from Patreon members until that can get all cleaned up. Patreon members, uh, these are some of the items we could be making and I will be bringing back as soon as possible as you've, if you've been following my Patreon, you probably know that we've had some delays this year, COVID-related, mold mishaps, and uh, we're finally getting on top of things, and we had talked about doing the Necronomicon and the TARDIS. We're still going to be doing that. That's coming up, and after that is done, uh, we'll consider bringing some of these others back. We're going to close this video out by discussing where I'm at with the settling boards. I still make those if you're looking to have one. You can pick one up uh, like this one for 275. This is just a four player with no frame. You'd want to use the frame that you already have. I can make this up to six player and we have seafarers for this as well. There's a couple different styles of borders. You can use the floating X border like so or we can make a puzzle frame. I have been working on a do-it-yourself uh, set and I will be offering the molds and we ran into some uh, some snags which was the whole intent. I wanted to make sure that whatever I ended up offering everyone was going to last and and do a good job for what I wanted. And the problem I found with doing this hex style mold is that the wall tends to bow out as the mold ages. We've made about 30 castings so far, and now, the mold, and I don't know if you can see that or not, but it's starting to cut some, and the edges are, they're not straight, and that's kind of infuriating. So we're going to move to basically, well, how I do it myself. I don't know why I made this so complicated in hindsight. I should have just done this in the beginning, and that is to offer the base separate from the inserts. Uh, so you'll cast the inserts with a mold something like this, rather than an individual mold, and then you'll cast the base separate. And this leaves you a few options, because you can also just make your own wooden base. You can have a manufactured MDF base like this, which is which I prefer. And, of course, this base here, which I will be making a new mold of this for the thicker base. So you can still get this more, I would say, whimsical base. It is kind of an example. Quite different in the thickness. This is half inch, this is quarter inch. The hard bars are still going to stay the same. And we're just changing the insert. So I will continue working on this as I get time. And uh, doing away with the backward queue is probably going to make sure that happens. I think that's all I have for today, guys. Thanks for watching.